especially for the past 15 years, okay, minus the two years because of the pandemic. Tahu baka ika. Well, hello! Nice to see you! In case you guys are here for the first time, I'm JT. As uh, some of you might already know, behind me, that is the causeway that links JB and Singapore. And ever since the beginning of the pandemic, it's been closed, families on both sides separated, unable to see each other until now. But as of November 29, that will change. Because Malaysia and Singapore have already agreed on a VTL, which is a vaccinated travel lane, which will connect from Singapore Changi Airport to Malaysia KLIA. Reopening of the causeway borders are still ongoing. Currently, we, we don't know what's the situation right now, but hopefully in the coming weeks, as of this recording, we might have uh, details on that. But anyway, fingers crossed, I'm feeling pretty optimistic about this. My mom's from Singapore, I still have family and relatives on the other side. So, yeah, looking forward to it. To be honest, actually I'm here for the first time and I didn't know that this sort of a park here actually existed. And uh, it's sort of a little recreation where you have seats, people can sit down here just to take their mind off stuff, just uh, relax, enjoy the breeze, overlooking the Straits of Johor, and then with neighbouring Singapore behind. And for me, as a local lad, especially for the past 15 years, okay, minus the two years because of the pandemic, I've been traveling up and down the causeway very frequently, and it's never been so quiet. So for me to look at it from this point, it's very strange. Hopefully, I don't want to see another situation in my lifetime. I think I've been rambling too much. I think, uh, Let's make a move. Feeling a little bit thirsty, so let's go and grab a drink first. I knew there was a new cafe around the corner, which was open quite recently, so I just thought of checking the place. Nice ambience, the staff were friendly, I will come back to try what they have to offer. But at this point, I had to make an errand run. Taman Pelangi guys, so on my way to my favourite hawker centre. I mean one of my favourite hawker centre. Let's see what they have. Okay guys, I'm going to order some clay pot rice. So most probably I think I go for this. เอาบาคาอีกเยอะสั่งเลยนะมั้ยเจ้าวะเจ้าคนก็เคยละโอเคอ่าล่ะเยอะเยอะเยอะละอยากให้มีมีมากกว่าโอ้ยโอ้ย
Oh, it's been a while since I had this, you know. As you guys can see this. See, look at the chicken. We gotta mix it first. Ooh, you know what, you guys can see this. Huh? You can see the clay pot chicken rice is cooked perfectly on the stove. The chicken meat is tender. The rice has a bit of a char flavor. Some Chinese sausages, bits of salted fish, spring onion, and the most important part is the sauce, which has a bit of a dark barbecue savory flavor. And yeah, add some chilies if you like to spice it up. Yummy! In case some of you are wondering what is tau baka, it was originally an Indonesian Malay snack. Grilled crispy tofu stuffed with cucumber and bean sprouts, covered with palm sugar dressing. Yeah. Sorry, it's a bit louder behind the back back background noises. I can show you this kind of places. Yeah. Food is very flavorful. Mm. Mm. At the end of the day, I don't need to go to any fancy restaurants or cafes all the time. For me personally, street food, hawker food, food courts, whatever you call it, it's affordable and most importantly, delicious. Just when I'm about to do some cleaning up, it rains. Hmm. Anyway, Thanks for making up to this far. Remember to share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And again, this channel will not be where it is if it's not without you guys. Again, heartfelt thank you to all of you. Yeah, just have to wait till this ends. Let's we see how. But anyway, take care, stay safe, and I see you guys in the next video. Signing off.